Good morning. Welcome to your weekly weather report. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, all right, so today is August 22nd, 2022. And as I was tuning in this morning for our weather report this week, what I started to really focus on was that we, in the actualization zone, we go-getters, goal-getters, accomplished, intuitive, intelligent people often focus solely on the big things, you know, the getting, landing the big job, landing the big client, buying a house, selling a house, all of the big manifestations, manifestations that take a long, sometimes take a longer time to manifest, to materialize. And um, what my guides want me to share with you today, just a second here, let me just make sure about something. I'm going to switch something over here. Okay. So what my guides wanted me to share with you today was that it's really time to start focusing on the small things because it's actually within the small things, focusing on the details, focusing on the gifts that the universe brings you every single day how the universe communicates with you every single day, every single moment of every single day. Those are the, those are the clues and those are the signs that we're being invited to focus on this week that actually make big shifts when it comes to these bigger overall overriding goals that we have. So for example, I just got back from the beach. You wouldn't know it. I couldn't figure out how to get rid of this background. So next time we'll get rid of the background and have my normal background. But um, we just got back from the beach. And I've really been working a lot with my guides on focusing on the details, on the little gifts, the moment to moment things that come into my awareness that if you're not careful, you miss them. And one of my guides, I, he's, like the, he's like the divine director of my life. I always, th I always think of him as sitting at like a big console and like monitoring everything and kind of moving needles and advising me. And when I lose something, he's the one who will drop it into my awareness, that kind of thing. So I was, I was really focusing on working specifically with that particular guide because that, that frequency and that consciousness is something that really, I believe is the thing that's going to be a difference maker in my life and in yours too. You, by the way, have a divine director as well. Somebody who's like a universal manager for your life as well. So you are certainly welcome and invited to tune into that guidance from the non-physical as well. But anyway, I was, so I was focusing on just being present with the signs that were showing up for me. For instance, I was walking to dinner one day and um, on the street, my attention was just immediately drawn to this imprint from a construction company from 1928. The name of the, of the company was Miracle. And you know me, I love a good miracle. And so my, your guides are, are there to show you those things in your immediate environment that are guiding you and that are giving you signals that you're on the right track on the right track, in the flow for your, for your goals, for your dreams, for your heart's desires. Um, another example, on the last night we were at the beach, we always start and end our, our trips at one particular restaurant that we love. So my husband had made reservations for 7.30. We were about 30 minutes early. And the reason, there are a couple of reasons that I like my husband to make reservations. One is because I don't like to wait I don't like to wait. So I just would rather just come in at a designated time and be seated right away, which is what usually happens. But we were early and knew, I knew that probably the chances of us getting to be seated right away were very, very slim because it was a very busy restaurant. So I said to my guides, I said, just, I would just like a place in the lounge or in the bar where I can just sit. So I don't have to stand and wait because there's nothing, I don't like waiting any, at any time, but when I have to, and then I also have to stand, I know that sounds precious, but it just is a thing, especially at restaurants. So 
Um, the hostess says, you know, I'm sorry, we can't see you now. We'll get you in as soon as we can. She invites us to go over, stand in the lounge. The whole bar area is filled with people. And um, so I choose this one space kind of out of the way, kind of like behind a table that was cleared, but not reset. And it took me literally 15 minutes to recognize that that was the table that my guides had set up for me to sit at while I was waiting for my table. And when I did, I was just like, oh my God, like how many times do I ask my guides for something? And then I don't pay attention or I don't realize that the thing that I'm asking for is right in front of me. So that's my point today for us as we go through this week is that we all have universal managers or divine directors, however you want to think about these guides that are very, they're very intimately involved in our day to day living. They want us to have the best possible experience on this earth plane. They want us to navigate in such a way that is easy, graceful, miraculous. And what the guides are saying this week is pay attention to the details, but not the details like being in the weeds, but pay attention to the details of the magic and the, and the, the miracles that are in front of you every single day. Another way that I recognize that my guides are communicating with me is through feathers. I'll often see feathers laying on the ground, white feathers, especially little fluffy ones, just are just little indicators to me that my guides are here with me and that they are helping me navigate certain circumstances or, or situations every single moment of every single day. So as we go into this week, there are a couple of things specifically that you can focus on as you are developing and strengthening your relationship with the guides that are here and available to you. One is to just set the intention to do so and just ask. Even if you've never even thought that you've had these divine directors before, you do. And so use your imagination and be playful, be playful about it. Be playful, be joyful, be curious about how you're going to be navigating this week. There, there have been so many times in my life where I have just asked for something simple and it just shows up. And then my ego mind is like, ooh, was that me? Did I just make that up in my head? What did I just do? And over the years, I've trained myself to just say thank you to my guides for supporting me in that way, for, for making me laugh, for making me smile, for making me wonder, wonder, I wonder. It's always a good thing to ask as you're, as you're headed into this week. So approaching this week with curiosity, with open-heartedness, and focusing specifically on your finances this week, not in a negative way, but especially if, if you have ADHD or think you do, chances are quite good that you're a little bit or a lot money blind, which means that you sort of avoid looking at your accounts, you avoid looking at your sales, you avoid looking at your taxes, whatever it is. Um, but this, this is the week to really kind of start dropping into very gently and very curiously into those realms, the financial realms in particular, just to start looking at what's going on and notice the feelings that come up for you as you do, just even as you look at those the finances in your business, the finances in your, in your work. Just look at it and notice what comes up. And then ask your guides, what's the lesson here? How can I shift this? You don't have to go into the whys about it. You can read the Encyclopedia Britannica on the why of it and not have any shifts. But when you ask a different question, which is, what's the best way to shift this? What's the best way to allow this, allow more in? That's when things actually start to change. And that's when you start really coming into conscious contact with the guides who are here for you and here for you now. So that is my message for this week. Pay attention to the little things. Tune in to your non-physical guides. And if you want some help with that, direct message me. I've got some, some prescriptions for that as well. All right. So until next week, I will see you then.